It is a nocturnal animal with a squirrel like body. In today's Zoo Day, Aaliyah Scott joins us to tell us about the sugar glider. Aaliyah, thanks for being here. Thanks for having and us. The little Lady Gaga like <laughs> eyes. You notice he that? Does the little, have great big eyes. The Lady Gaga thing. Yeah. <laughs> tell us about it. Well, his name is a rook. He is a sugar glider. The great big eyes tell you you're looking at a nocturnal animal. So these guys are active at night. They get the name sugar glider because they have a little bit of a sweet tooth. They like to eat um, pollen, nectar, and then the sap from trees. And then glider comes from the fact that they can glide over 100 feet in one big leap. Wow. And they've actually got a little, see if he'll let me show it here, this little flap of skin. Look how far that can stretch. Oh, wow. It's called the patagium. And it goes actually from his wrist to his ankles. More much. aerodynamic to help him fly. Yep, they he's leap a out tiny of a tree. Little guy too. I know. I mean, this is as big as they get. Yep, he's eight feet. years old. So imagine that little guy leaping out of a tree and gliding 100 feet to the next wow. tree. When they land, it's kind of a controlled crash. They don't really have a whole lot of control over that. Controlled but, chaos. Yes. And he's <laughs> munching on a worm, correct? He is eating mealworms. They're his favorite treat. These guys eat a lot of bugs, he's too. He's chowing down. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> and he's giving you kind of a good view. He's got a sink gland right there. It looks like he's got a little bald spot. Uh -huh. That's actually a sink gland on top of his head. <laughs> okay. And the most dominant male scent marks everybody in his family that's below him. And if another sugar glider comes in that doesn't smell like the dominant male, they'll attack him. It's so on. They huh? can be pretty nasty yeah, it's, for uh, cute little fellows. Yeah, it's, it's time. <laughs> and uh, we noticed the big long tail there also. Yep, Not, this helps really him to steer. Shot, but you can <laughs> see it back there, right? <laughs> it acts kind of like a rudder. It helps him to steer. And the tail is definitely, it's about as there long. Go. Oh, there, there you go. Hey. 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 There. It's time to climb. So <laughs> why are goes. these animals threatened? Can you talk about they that? They actually are a pretty abundant animal themselves. Are we going to go on my back here? There goes. There it goes. Back down on the table. But the habitat that they live in, they're found in the forests of Australia. And the habitat is actually threatened. <laughs> Do you want that, sweetie? Is he just going to hang out oh, on my shoulder? Oh, he just wanted another right. worm. It's great how he feeds himself, too. Yeah. Got like He's got the, the little hand. Going, right? Yep. And a rook here is one of our animal ambassadors at the park. And since he is nocturnal, it's a great time to come out to the park and see him. We've got our African Summer Festival going on. So we're ah. open later. We've got animal encounters all the way up until 7.30 at night. So it's a great time to come to the park. Awesome. A lot of cool stuff. Hopefully the weather agrees, too. Now we're just having fun watching. Well, thanks, thanks Aaliyah. So much. Yeah, go thank ahead. Go ahead. Thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend, everyone. All right. Hope we get some sunshine.